During the height of Operation Enduring Freedom, battles on all scales were being fought on a regular basis. On November 9, 2007, Chosen Company of 2nd Battalion, 503rd Infantry Regiment fell under attack when a well-planned ambush by the Taliban struck the unit. One soldier proved his loyalty and dedication to his comrades, his team, and the soldier's creed on that day. And they also picked a, a spot on the trail where it was basically no cover and it was a, a cliff going up and a, and a cliff going down with just this little cut in the side of it where we were. Rocket-propelled grenades, recoilless rifles, and small arms fire littered the ambush site, splitting the patrol in half, taking the life of their platoon leader, fatally wounding one Marine, and wounding yet another soldier, whom he quickly rendered aid. I knew he'd been hit, so I got up and ran to him. At the time, you know, I made a decision that there's, there's too much going on right now, too much fire. I didn't have time to, you know, bandage him up, so I... The bleeding was significant enough where I, I thought to just put a tourniquet on, wrap it up, stop the bleeding, and then I would address it further later. White's next objective was getting wounded Marine Sergeant Philip Box protection, who was exposed in the open over 30 feet away. With enemy fire continuing to rain down, White knew it was only a matter of time before the inevitable. But still, he risked his life several times, finally getting Box to a more secure location. And so I figured, you know, if, if that's going to happen, then I'm going to try to help somebody, you know, while I can. The ambush would last four hours and well into the night. During that time, Kyle White risked his life again, retrieving sensitive items in order to establish communications with his company and provide key information for mortar and helicopter support to keep the enemy from overrunning his position. He instructed the remaining Afghan national soldiers to set up a security perimeter, coordinated medical evacuations, and he was the last soldier to leave the site. Upon learning of casualties taken that day, Kyle White dedicates his nomination for the Medal of Honor to those six who gave the ultimate sacrifice. This is happening all the time over there in Afghanistan, and you know, sacrifices happen every day by men and women who wear the uniform you know, all over the world. So it's, you know, this is just one tale, and there's a bunch of others out there. For Army Broadcasting, I'm Sergeant Jaime Hernandez.